Okay, we are going to do lesson 11-2, two-step word problems involving multiplication and division. So this one's actually a little bit easier than yesterday's lesson because in yesterday's lesson we had to divide, decide are we going to add, subtract, divide, or multiply. Today, our only decision is do we multiply or do we divide, which must mean that we are consistently dealing with equal groups because if we look at our guideline for word problem to decide which operation to use. If it's larger, we're going to add or sub add or multiply. If it, the answer is going to be smaller, we're going to subtract or divide. If we're dealing with equal groups, then we're going to decide that it's going to be multiplication or division, which means we must be dealing with equal groups in this whole chapter. Okay, so let's keep that in mind as we go through these questions and see if we can really make that jump out at us that, oh yes, we are definitely dealing with equal groups. Okay, let's take a look at our worksheet here. <clears throat> okay, a product is the answer to a multiplication problem and a quotient is the answer to a division problem. Write a multiplication equation for the bar diagram. Okay, so we know, this is our total up here, right? So we know our answer is 40. B is our unknown. We don't know how many are in each box, but how many boxes do we have? Count up your number of boxes and write that there. Should be five, right? So five groups of B is equal to 40. We know the product is 40, okay? So now remember, you have to remember the fact families that we do, right? So if we have 40, 5, and B, right? <clears throat> we have 5 times B equals 40, B times 5 equals 40, 40 divided by 5 equals B, and 40 divided by B equals 5, right? You know that your answer to your multiplication must be the same as the beginning number the divisor of your division, right? So in this problem right here, what number must be the beginning of your division problem? Look at it over here. Where's your biggest number, right? Even just looking at this, five times B equals 40. Therefore, if we're gonna write division, 40's gotta be our number one spot. So 40 divided by B must equal what? Look at your fact family over here. 40 divided by B must equal 5. And the quotient is your answer to your division problem is 5. Okay. Complete the bar diagrams and write equations to solve. Use letters to represent the unknown qualities. Quantities. This is fun. I like using letters. It's the very beginning of algebra. All right. Jill is in charge of scheduling fields for the youth soccer leagues. There are four leagues with six teams in each league. An equal number, there's our equal groups, right? An equal number of teams will play on each of the three fields. How many teams will play on each field? Okay, so hidden question. How many, what are there in all? Okay, our question is how many teams will play on each field? In order to know that, we first need to know how many teams are there total, right? And then we can take that total number of teams and divide it by the three fields to figure out how many teams will play on each field. But until we know the total number of, of teams, we can't figure out how many will be on there. So we have four leagues with how many teams in each league. Find that information up here and fill that in. Okay, we have six teams in each league, okay? So four leagues times, times six teams in each league is going to give us 24. So there are 24 teams in all. Where are you going to write the 24 teams in all in that bar diagram? Is it going to go at the top or are you going to put it in each of the boxes? You have 24 teams total. Yes. 24 teams, right? We have four leagues and there are basically six in each league, okay? That is summing up this information here. We have four leagues, six teams in each league, so we have a total of 24 teams. 
Okay, now, now that we have, we know we have 24 teams, they have three fields, how many teams will play on each field, okay? So here's our three fields. How many teams do we have total? We have 24 teams in all, and how many fields are there? Three, okay, now, Let's ask ourselves. We have 24 teams total on three fields. Is the number of players, number of teams on each player going to be larger or smaller than 24? I mean, I have 24 teams total, and I'm going to split them up into three teams, or three fields. So the number of teams playing on each field has to be smaller. I can't put more than 24 teams on each field. I only have 24 teams. Remember, it's math. It's not magic. You don't get to just magically make more teams. So I'm going to divide, right? So 24 is my big number up here. I'm going to take 24. I'm going to divide it by the three fields that I have. Okay? And the only way to do this is to ask yourself, what number times 3 equals 24? So you have to think to your threes and think 3 times what is 24? So pause it if you need to. And it's going to be eight. So eight teams will play on each field. Now let's check and make sure this makes sense. And I didn't, you know, say to you how many players, teams will be on each field and you said um, yellow, right? That's not answering the question. So let's make sure that our answer makes sense. How many teams will play on each field? Okay, and we're saying eight teams. Okay, so let's go back and read the question. There's four leagues with six teams in each league. So we have 24 teams. Each number, an equal number of teams will play on three fields. How many teams will play on three fields? What, does it make sense that you'd have eight, eight teams on field one, eight teams on field two, and eight teams on field three, and that equals our total number of 24 teams? Yes, it absolutely makes sense. So that's perfect. Okay. So let's take a look here. A sports pack of eight sports drinks costs $5. So we're gonna buy a pack of eight and it's gonna cost $5. Right? That's our Gatorades, our, our eight pack of Gatorades and it's gonna cost $5 for the eight pack, okay? How much would it cost to buy 72 sports drinks? Okay, so we have, our numbers that we have are 